Hi! Thank you so much for joining me for your Written in the Stars January 2017 Terrascope. If we haven't met before, my name is Madeline and I'm really glad that you decided to join me. And if you're back, hello again and thank you. Um, I will be doing your January Terrascope spread to tell you all about what's coming up for you this month, followed by a second spread called my Fiercely Focused Spread, where I will give you pretty much an overarching theme for your month and some really specific action steps you can take to really capitalize on the momentum of the beginning of your year and really kind of avoid any pitfalls and, and just really make the best of what's coming to you because that is what tarot is all about. I hope that you will find and follow me on social media if you're into that. I I've linked all of my accounts below, Instagram, Facebook, all the things. And if you like this video, I hope that you will like it and subscribe because I would love to hear more from you. And please let me know what you think in the comments because I would love, love, love to know what resonated, what rang bells, what really didn't ring bells. Um, totally into it. Totally love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a very <sighs> happy new year. This used to light up and be way dorkier, and that would have been more fun for you, but you know, either way I get to fedora bomb you for January. But I'm glad that you decided to join me, and I hope that you will really enjoy your Terrascope and find it very empowering and insightful for you in January. And without further ado, on to your January Terrascope. Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for tuning in for your January 2017 Terrascope. Let us see what is up. Aquarius in January of 2017. And Aquarius, if you have not um, had a reading with me here yet before or heard me say this, you will see me turn right side up cards that come in um, quote unquote reversed. Uh, some tarot readers, just like this one, some tarot readers read upside down cards as meaning something different. Um, but I happen to read, I, I read intuitively, so I listen to what spirit has to say and show me about the card and if there is like a twisting or a perversion of the original meaning I definitely do share that with you um, but I do turn them right side up just so you can really see the symbolism yourself and hear what your own intuition and your guides have to say about it in addition to whatever you receive from me and from spirit okay I do get questions and some comments about that sometimes so I just want to make that clear okay Aquarius January 2017. What does Aquarius need to know? It's January 2017. For their highest good spirit. For their ultimate good. What does Aquarius need to know? Wow. In January 2017. Okay. All right. Aquarius, just going to make sure you can see everybody here. Okay. Wow, well it looks like a pretty good month. There's really not too much heavy stuff here, Aquarius. It looks like um, January is going to be quite hopeful for you, I feel like, and quite, um, there could be a lot of progress, a real even like breakthrough um, for you in January. So. I feel like you feel very much like surrounded by love in the beginning of January. Like you have good friends around you, um, particularly like people who you feel like just really understand you and can laugh with you. And I do feel like it's like a little trio. Like I feel like it's you and a couple of other people. Could be male, could be female. The, the picture is of course of three females. So for some of you that will definitely resonate that there it's you and two other women that you really adore. Um, but for some of you it could be a mix of the genders. And either way, it's like you make a three-part harmony. Like you just have terrific chemistry together. And whenever you get together, it's like there's no problem that you can't solve. And I really feel like Aquarius, like you're very brilliant. And whew, like there's a real opportunity to bring in some major abundance and even like luxury. Like I feel like some of you are craving like a little bit of a more upscale lifestyle or a little bit of um. You want more. You want to enjoy more. You want more to like, like more to love. As I look at this like curvy pregnant lady over here in the Empress card, like the Empress card is all about Venus. It's all about attracting what you want into your life. And Aquarius, you're very attractive. Like <laughs> in all senses of the word, you're very attractive. You're very charismatic. If you're willing to put out the vibe 
and work the vibe that you want to receive back from life, it's going to come to you, Aquarius. Like, you're kind of a genius, okay? Like, I'm not throwing that word around like nothing. You are kind of a genius. It doesn't mean you have to be book smart. It doesn't mean you have to be anything except, like, when you receive a challenge or an inspiration, like, you think quick on your feet. You are a wit. You are a force to be reckoned with. And if you set your eyes on something and start setting your actions in motion with it, you are really going to get something great out of it. Okay. And, wow. So it's funny. Spirit was telling me that, you know, that three-part harmony that you're making. And here you have three, three cup members of the court. So that's kind of funny. Um, and specifically, I'm feeling with some of you that it is an okay. So again, Aquarius, these are general readings for every Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So some, some of these messages, again, will resonate more with you than others. But for some of you, the, the two other people that you have that harmony with are a significant other and like a best friend. So there's like a real sense of like, oh, thank God I have both of these people. I have my soulmate, like my romantic soulmate, and then I have my soulmate who is like my friend and confidant and like my match, my other match. Um, and I feel like there's like, there's a transformation around your relationships in January, Aquarius. I feel like you, some of you may be even like, um, taking deeper, further steps into your relationships. Like this could be a milestone for your relationship or some of you may even like be like literally proposing or thinking about it. Um, and I'm feeling like, like some of you are really thinking of making this impetuous move and then you may decide to wait because there is that hanged man right next to it saying like, okay, there's like a change in perspective coming. And so it's kind of like, hang out with it, like hang out with this idea um, and see how it feels by the end of January. Do you want to make it official? Like whatever it is, do you really want to make this proposal? And it doesn't have to be like a marriage proposal that can be like, hey, do you want to um, go on a trip together? Hey, do you want to get a puppy together? <laughs> like whatever this is, um, kind of let it brew let it brew and your perspective may change or widen or shift by the end of January to where you make a better decision. Uh, something that is going to be really, really positive and even like, um, gosh, I even want to say like, pos like possibly profitable. Like there is like, again, proposal could be a business proposal that you're thinking about making or like a, an idea that you're thinking about investing your time and energy into to make more, resources or more income and I'm feeling like you can definitely have that Aquarius if you're willing to fight for it and by fight for it I mean like you may not have every piece of the puzzle and you may have to do like some buckling down and researching and learning and really like working hard in order to make what you want to happen happen but if you put that work in it's going to give you back returns and specifically I want to say that they're telling you that you have all these people around you that are so willing to help you, like so willing to help you with it. Like if you needed somebody to take photos of you, there's that person. If you need somebody to help you with a website, there's that person. If you need somebody to give you a ride somewhere, there's that person. Like you have all kinds of good advice givers and good resources around you. And I mean that in terms of people. So definitely tap them. And specifically a couple of the personalities are like, you have a very compassionate and intuitive and wise friend. You have a very like, like impetuous and youthful and romantic friend or significant other that just believes in you so much and is there to give you like that, that, um, that encouragement and that softness, that, that sweetness when you just need unconditional love and understanding. And then you have that very resourceful, pragmatic and practical friend who is like, here's how we grow your finances. Here's how you do better at your job. And then you have this guy over here, male or female, because queens and kings, that has nothing to do with gender in the tarot. Or you have this person over here that is like your career counselor, your business coach, the person that you go to for like, like, I don't even know where I am in this life. And they kind of, in a few sentences, they sort out exactly where you are and spit it back at you. And you're like, oh my God, I never thought of it that way, but you're exactly right. And it helps like reorient you on your path and really make clear where you want to go and what's worth fighting for. 
And I really do feel like there's such clarity coming up for you this month. And what is worth fighting for is going to become very clear. And what is like worth fighting for and when is going to become very clear. Like this hanged man is like, this may not be the season for the proposal, or it may be. Because again, these are general readings, Aquarius. So like if you want something more personal and one-on-one, -on -one, you could definitely book a one-on-one -on -one with me. And I would love that. My shop is linked below if you're interested. But even if you're not... Like, there, what is it in your life that has been, like, you've been questioning whether it's worth your energetic investment? Like, get really honest with yourself about what that is, and ask yourself some good questions about it, and if there's another person involved, ask them. Be very honest with them and ask them the questions that you have. And it's going to be very clear if you do that by the end of January, what is worth your time and energy and what kind of can be set aside so that you can make other more important things happen. Um, you definitely have the support. You definitely have the mental and, and I, mean, I feel even like external clarity, like the way is being cleared for you. Events are going to be working in your favor. Um, for you to move forward boldly and invest in yourself in a new way in January and probably, I mean, really, this sets the tone for all year long. Um, you'll definitely want to stay tuned in another week or two for your full-on 2017 forecast. But for now, let's do your fiercely focused spread and see what your theme is and what kind of action steps that you need to take, Aquarius. We're going to start by picking theme card overarching wow <laughs> overarching for you in January 2017 wow temperance so balance equilibrium Aquarius um, you're a very rebellious soul and the idea of like temperance and moderation might sound like oh my god that is so square that is so freaking lame that you're telling me to like kind of calm my shit down and like take things easy but damned if that's not what you're meant to do, Aquarius. Damned if you're not, but meant to understand, like, what kind of results do your habits create? And are there any places in your life where you're a little bit excessive? Like, excessive work, excessive sleep, excessive drinking, excessive smoking. Where could you maybe scale back or scale forward and bring things into, like, a greater degree of balance? Um, Spirit is really drawing my eye to this crown in this case for you, Aquarius, that victory is at the end of the path if you're willing to be patient, if you're willing to really find that balance and that equilibrium. I feel like, wow, Spirit doesn't always speak or often speak for me in, in human terms of time, but Spirit is saying June and July. And what they're bringing to mind for me is that um, we've just had, in, in on December 29th, we just had that full moon, I'm sorry, that new moon in Capricorn. And a lot of you are going to have a Capricorn ascendant or a Capricorn moon. And Spirit is saying that this is like an opportunity for you to turn over a new leaf. And that by the time that full moon enters Capricorn in, uh, in, in like July, I believe it is, you're going to see a degree of victory that is like in in correlation with the degree of moderation you've brought into your life like okay I need more exercise and to drink more water and if you even just introduce th those two habits into your life starting now you're gonna see some tremendous results by by like June and July those were the two months that spirit mentioned which is why I brought up the moon but they said June and July okay so now, on the heels of that very practical, like very specific bit of advice and messaging from Spirit, let's see what you need to do in the like physical, financial realm of your life. What steps you need to take, Aquarius, to make the most of January 2017 for your highest good. Wow, okay, jumper. Okay, Aquarius, so you need to look at where you are. Very like, you're a very honest soul, Aquarius, so look at it very plainly. Be very honest with yourself about how you feel about it. Like, all the work that you've done, what has it yielded for you? 
what kind of harvest you have, whether you're looking at your bank account or you're looking at like the creative works that you've made or where you find yourself in your career. When you look around at what you've made for yourself, are you happy? Are you sad? Are you exalted? Are you disappointed? Um, be honest with yourself and from there you can proceed in the best direction because if you like what you see but you want more, well then do more of what you've been doing or do it a little smarter. If you don't like what you have at all, then you know you need to change paths or you know if you keep doing it, you're going to find yourself in the same place by January 2018. Um, time flies, Aquarius. And time especially flies for you. You're, again, a rebellious soul, always like moving with the times, always ahead of the trends and at the cutting edge. Um, if you start now, you, trendsetter, <laughs> can be in a wildly different place, again, like Spirit is saying, by June or July of this year. So go ahead and start deciding now if you're happy about where you are. Okay, so now we're going to look at what you'll be thinking and speaking about in January 2017. Wow, that's funny. A couple of sevens right in a row here. Um, and very much suited to each other because the Seven of Swords is about dropping what you cannot carry anymore. So a lot of you, when you're doing that um, review, like life review and looking at where you are and deciding like if you're happy with what your work has yielded for you or if you want to do something different, a lot of you are going to be like, okay, I'm dropping this and that. I can't carry this anymore. Like, I can't carry this... Um, goal or this like activity or this commitment anymore if I want to get where I want to go down the road I need to drop these two things so that I can carry these these five things with grace so a lot of you will be deciding like nope not worth it like or at least not enough worth it for me to keep up with it and don't feel bad about that definitely like if anything embrace that the more you're, you're clearing your plate, the more you're able to give your time and attention to those remaining things that you've decided very consciously are important to you and part of your priorities. Okay, so now let us see what is going to be going on with you emotionally. What will you be feeling, Aquarius, in January? Ooh, in January 2017. I'm so sorry. That is not your emotional deck. That is your spiritual and creative deck. And what is going on with you, Aquarius, is a whole bunch of projects and opportunities. Like, wham! Like, flying in with speed. Like, gosh, what do you want to do? Because you've got, like, the pick of the litter. So I feel like you're going to be getting, like, a lot of invitations and messages. And that may surprise you, Aquarius. Like, whoa, where are all these people coming from? Inviting me to do these different things or offering me these different jobs? Um, these different opportunities and choose very wisely Aquarius choose with discernment because don't forget that spirit up here is telling you that you can't carry everything gracefully so some things will, will need to be left behind and it's pretty much like they gave us that to say like look aren't you already feeling kind of tired and thinking that you need to like clear some things off to have better days so certainly it's not the month to be throwing a whole lot of things onto your plate that is not to say not to try anything new. That is, again, choose with discernment. And it's kind of like when you go out and buy a bunch of new clothes, like theoretically the best thing to do would be to go home and trade out some stuff that you haven't worn for years. So take things off your plate if you're going to decide to put some new things on there that really make you feel passionate and excited. Okay, so now, what will you be feeling and how will you be relating Aquarius to others? in January 2016. Wow. Okay, well, Spirit had me pull both, so we're pulling both, Aquarius. Oh, wow. That's kind of fascinating. Okay. So I say that because out of, you know, the four sevens that there are in the deck, you pulled three. And in addition to that little coincidence, it's like you pulled a seven. Over here you have an eight. I happen to pull two cards, and it's a seven plus a one to equal eight. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. But okay, so emotionally speaking, don't scatter your energy. That seven very much aligns with these other sevens. Like, don't, don't spread yourself too thin. Choose very wisely. Not all of these options are good options. 
Don't build castles in the sky without putting foundations of action under them in the real world. You definitely build castles in the sky, Aquarius, because if anybody can figure out, like, have the engineering aptitude and the, like, magical and dreamlike quality to make that happen, it's you. But you definitely still have to do earthly actions in order to make heavenly results happen, okay? And you really do have the opportunity to make heavenly results. So what is it that you want to create? Okay, I hope you filled that silence with like an idea. What is it? What is it that you want to make or be or do in this world? What would your best self be making? You can make it. Your cup will runneth over if you choose wisely. And spirit really is driving that home. So that's what it's all about for you, Aquarius. Even if you need to literally like make a list of what you want, and then you're like, okay, there's like 20 things here. So I need to narrow this down to five or four or three, then start doing it. Make it happen. If you really want those three things, that's what it's gonna take, Aquarius. It's gonna take your commitment. It's gonna take your focus. Um, I hope that you'll tune in in a week or two when your January, I'm sorry, when your 2017 year long forecast will be here because then you can, we can definitely like get a better look at why why it is that you're being asked to focus so much because there must be something really important <laughs> important going on for you in, in order for spirit to really drive this home so much. Um, and I have no doubt, Aquarius, because of the nature of who you are, and I mean, we need you now more than ever, those of us who think globally and think in terms of like saving the world and doing it in these clever revolutionary ways, we need your revolutionary, your radical rebellion, your your rebel with a cause attitude, Aquarius. <laughs> Thank you so much again for listening. I hope that you find your reading really helpful and that it guides you very well through the rest of the month. And I hope that you will come tune in again to this channel in a couple of weeks when your full on 2017 year ahead forecast will be available because woof, that's going to be a doozy. I am excited to do that for you. And I'm wishing you a really wonderful Happy New Year. I hope that, again, if you liked this, you will comment and subscribe and let me know what you thought or find me on social media and hit me up there because I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you in February. Bye-bye.